Good evening, you all. Welcome to our Glory Globe TV. Here's the breaking news. Yes, in 1870, Alfred Russell Walls will get 500 pound a huge sum in those days that he could prove the flat Arthur John Hampton wrong. Wallace duly did so, but the aggrieved Hampton never paid up. Since then, a lively history of scientific wagers has ensued. Many of them instigated by Stephen Hawking. Just last month in New York, the most famous recent wager was settled. A 25-year-old Beethoven, one of the last great mysteries in science and philosophy. Yes, the Beethoven's were neuroscientists, Christoph Koch and philosopher David Kalmers, both known for their pioneering work on the nature of consciousness, Kalmers own cock peda. Back in the late 1990s, consciousness science was full of renewed promise cock. A natural optimist believed that 25 years was more than enough time for scientists to uncover the neural correlates of consciousness, those patterns of brain activity that underlie each and every one of our conscious experiences. Chalmers, a philosopher and therefore something of a pessimist by profession, demurred in 1998 the pair staked a create of fine wine on the outcome. The best was finally called at the annual meeting of the Association for the Scientific Study of Consciousness in New York a couple of weeks ago, Cox graciously handled Kalmar's a bottle of Madeira on the conference stage, while much more is known about consciousness today than in 90s. It is true. Neural correlates and indeed a consensus theory of consciousness still elude us. What helped? Resolve the wager was the outcome, or rather the lack of decisive outcome of an adversarial collaboration organized by a consortium called Kogi Tate. Adversarial collaborations encourage researchers from different theoretical camps to jointly design experiments that can distinguish between their theories. In this case, the theories in question were integrated information theory and brainchild of Giolotononi and the neuronal global workspace theory championed by Stanislas Dehane. The two scientists made predictions based on their respective theories about what kinds of brain activity would be recorded in an experiment in which participants looked at a series of images but neither predicted outcome fully played out. Given IIT's focus on specific casual structures in neuroanatomy, Tononi hypothesized that certain forms of neural activity would be observed during the experiment in the so-called posterior hot zone towards the back of the brain. But Dehane predicted that GWT would dictate finding consciousness related activity in the front of the brain. Repleting the emphasis of this theory on the broadcast of information throughout broad swaths of cortex, the result of the experiment did not fully conform to either prediction. Arguably, IIT fared a little better than GWT, but not to the extent that any reasonable person could say that GWT had been disproved and another experiment from Cogitate is still ongoing which could yet change things around. We hope so. Beyond the report, Glory Globe TV, Delhi, India.